So now let's talk about the 802.1Q tag. So you can see the tag format at the bottom of the slide here, and it has four different fields. So this one right here is the 802.1Q tag, this entire thing. Now the first field is the tag protocol identifier field, also shortened as TPID. And it is set to a specific value to identify the packet as an 802.1Q packet. You probably don't need to memorize that, but it is good to know and be aware of the value. Now the next field is the priority code point PCP field, which indicates a class of service COS as part of layer two quality of service QoS. So this field is used to mark the packet with a certain value. Then that value can be used to handle the packet differently or provide preferential treatment in forwarding the packet. That's the whole point of QoS. The next is the drop eligible indicator field, also shortened as DEI. And it indicates whether the packet can be dropped when there is bandwidth contention. I suppose this field kind of goes hand in hand with QoS. To be honest, I'm not very familiar with all the details, but I would imagine the idea is that if this field is set, it means that the packet can be dropped in case there's not enough bandwidth to forward the packet. So I guess lower preference packets would have this field set. Now last, perhaps the most interesting field in the tag is of course the VLAN identifier or VLAN ID, which specifies the VLAN associated with the packet. So right here at the end, you have that VLAN ID that would mark the VLAN associated with the packet. So there might be something like 42. You will see me use this in later examples. Now let's remove the drawings here and then, and then look at the next slide. So here is kind of a summary of the VLAN packet or the 802.1Q tag. So the 802.1Q VLAN tag is thrown in there with the original frame format. The VLAN tag contains those four fields, each with their own specific purpose. The VLAN tag is 32 bits in total, and you can see the size of the individual fields below there. Pay specific attention to the length of the VLAN ID field, which is 12 bits. You will need this information later. Now let's actually see how the VLAN tag looks in a packet capture. So let me get out of this slideshow. And I have a Wireshark packet capture already downloaded and open here. This is from packetlife.net. This packet capture is for 802.1Q tunneling. So this is slightly beyond the topic that we're covering right now, which is just the basic use of VLANs. So ignore the fact that there are actually two VLAN tags. So yes, double tagging is possible, but that's a topic for another time. But just to look here, you can see right here the 802.1Q VLAN tag. And as described, it has those four different fields. So right here, you can see the priority field. Then we have the drop eligible indicator, then the VLAN ID, and then the type of the packet. And you can see they're in different order right here. I don't know how much it matters how the frame is represented, but here it's done in this way. And in the resource in the official cert guide, the book that we're using for these lessons, they were shown as I had described them in the slides. And actually, if I open this wiki page here, about the 802.1Q tag, this is how it's represented. 
Oh, and the preamble is actually missing from my slides. That's another field represented here. But you can see the destination and source MAC addresses at the front. Then we have the ether type and size field, then the payload of the packet, and finally the CRC or FCS field at the end. Then the 802.1Q header fits right in there between the source MAC address and the ether type slash size field. So now in the packet capture, let's just look at that again. Once more, the VLAN ID is perhaps the most interesting and important field. And here it is VLAN 118. So finally, if we go back to the slideshow here. Now the key takeaways from this lesson are that the use of VLANs adds a 32-bit 802.1Q VLAN tag in the original frame. That 802.1Q VLAN tag consists of four different fields, and the most important one is the VLAN ID field, which holds the VLAN associated with the frame. It is also important or beneficial to know that the VLAN ID is 12 bits in length. The importance of this information will become clear later.